can do anything together if we just try yeah. and as long as we have our backs we never our faults combine this time we will win this time we'll have to join forces this time I fell, I fell, be lost, to the roar, shot me dead, I was lost, and I said, to the voices in my head, I gotta get up again, I gotta get up to another day, I gotta give it up again, I gotta get up, I gotta get up. Into my eyes, my heart beats like a drum. You listen to my lies. Love is far to come. Your love is far. Running at a speed of light, kissing at a city lights. Falls me in this spot until my it just goes on. Running at a speed of light, kissing at a city lights. Falls me in this spot until my it just goes on. Gonna 
I am still not in game. Man, this is going well. This is a great stream. We're trying here, we're trying. I am going to stay quiet until game number two goes on so far. Who's in the lead right now? <laughs> so far, Jones in the lead. Apollo two goes zero. for a nice pinch. Ooh, coming to have a chair has the present for it. They are making takes it back. Oh, Mango hits right over them. It's a jump ball. And Ancient gets the angle on it. Jump ball again. They're throwing a lot of these over the crossbar and seeing who can get to it. Ooh, nice block by Bones. He just gets one out of it. Some slight bumping going on here by playing full center. Just a little bit. Apollo reads that pretty well. Gets rebound. Going to read again. Oh, he gets in front of the net. Can't make anything happen out of it, though. And the demo by chair. Center by Apollo. Not enough boost to make anything happen. Demo by Sonic. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. So far, really solid reads all around. Oh, and the demo again. They're not letting up. There's gotta be some revenge demos going on here. I have a count going on right now. We have four demos in total right now, I believe. Yep. Nice little try for a flip there. Couldn't quite get it though. And so far, it's looking like John's gonna take this first game 2 0 on the left. Off the wall, Mango does get it. They bait him with an off the wall and get it. So it's now 3 0 for Jones with 17 seconds left. This is probably that for game one. Air Ancient, he goes to the flick. Oh, nice fake. Awesome teamwork by Plainfield. They just hit it off the corner and couldn't quite get it. Jones didn't get a goal out of this, though. Oh, it touches. Okay, that's first map. First map. I'm playing too much other games. First game. First game goes to Jones College Prep. Are you in now? I am in, but you might have to back out to the lobby and then restart it. But I'm keeping track of series. Let's see if they notice that. Let's go back out to lobby. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi right now. It's being annoying. Wi-Fi on a desktop? Ugh. I haven't... I'm all the way upstairs in my room, so I don't have an Ethernet cable long enough to go. I have a 100-foot Ethernet cable in my apartment. I need to get that. Okay, you ready to roll? Uh, yep, I'm all set. So, looks like we have Jones is up 1-0 on Plainfield Central. Also, I understand people in the chat that I am showing a lot of schools repeatedly. It's because I'm kind of getting who I'm getting. I can't get everyone consistently due to schedule conflicts and whatnot. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in. <laughs> you finally made it. I am in. We can now do some commentary. Great kickoff. Favorite for Ancient. Goes up the wall. Mango hits it downfield. Please. Goes for the double tap. Apollo tries to go for a slight fake, but go might be in favor, and Sainit gets the score. How'd they go in? I think it was just an accidental... Ah, pinches it right off, starts heading towards goal. Ancient tries to save it, but by actually hits it right into his own goal. There we go over there. And another kickoff. 
Right in favor towards blue. Mango yeah, goes for the hit. Typhoon tries to go for the save. Make it to the downfield. Ooh, chair. Ooh, and a demo. <laughs> Mango goes out for the score. How Mango does gets he the get goal. That? Right Did he it's more or less off a the wall? I think it was a pinch. There's a demo right there. Mango turns around. Boosts up. Ooh, oh, it was a pinch. Great pinch. That goal. Balls in favor for a Echo. A small pinch right there. Mango hits a downfield. Echo tries to go down, save it. Oh, a bump by Ancient. They could have saved the goal actually there. There's a lot of bumping going on right now. Ancient goes for this try hard, but does not get it. Please. Mango hits it downfield. Oh, redirect. Oh. Tries to go for the aerial passing play. Chair tries. To, chair tries to go for an aerial thing. Nobody saw that. But does not get it. Yep. Sanic not able to commit and get the aerial. It's up. Ancient goes for it. Freestyles up right here. Great. That's what Rocket League's all about. And now only freestyles. I wish there was more freestyling in. And Cher goes, saves the ball, goes right up. Oh, could Bumps he hit it, it one more time? Out of boost. Maybe trying to go for the double tap, but it's not have enough boost. Ball hit right towards midfield. Sanic goes up. Sanic takes the shot, but saved by Ancient. Ooh, small 50. Oh, wins the 50. Sanic tries going for this double tap. Ancient goes for the double tap, but it's not able to commit. Ariel, John able to commit it. Bones. as well. Ooh. A lot of freestyling. This, free this is the most amount of freestyling I've seen. Sack tries going for an aerial dribble. Maybe it's a goal. straight first center. Ooh, but three people there to defend it. No one from Jones oh, was oh. there to actually catch that. Paula goes for the hit right off of the wall. Ooh, it's a straight center. Mango's there to save it. And that's a goal for Apollo. Nice. Uh, Pone in chat, I want to note that I do not have a match set up for tomorrow yet. And I have asked three schools and we've told no three times. So it's a work in progress. Kick off right down the center. Goes in favor for Bones. Chair goes for the hit. Ooh, the passing play. A little bit short. Nice Another hit off. stop by Chair. Oh, could he get the angle? And that was a great shot by Chair. Chair has been able happen to... by himself. Chair's had a really great season so far. He's able to commit with lots of aerials, lots of very, very weird angles to hit from, but I, still commits and gets the goal. I really wish I could get individual stats to play. I believe there's actually websites that allow you to do that. I'm saying like RC stats. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Mango, Mango. please. Mango goes for Do the it. double tap. Oh. oh, that was a great shot. Almost commits with the double tap. He tried to hit the flat side of his car and just missed it. Nice bumping by Plainfield. He gets the space. Sanic can take it, though. Oh, nice poke over him. Open net. Share. goes for the shot. This is it. How did he all this immediate speed to go where he wants to? The heat, I can't really. I'm not, I haven't seen much of him playing other than when he's scoring. I think he's doing a lot of wave dashing. Ooh, Ancient tries to, tries to win his 50. Mango hits the hit right over. Ancient goes. Bumps off. Sanic goes up in the air. One for the... Ooh! Faked! It's a great shot. Yep. Faked. Awesome shot. Redirects it right into the left side of the net to avoid bones. Uh, also in chat, I can't really do a Swigo East tomorrow for the stream because, uh, well, if he gets Pinkhill Central, he's playing today. Not really fair to that. Uh, 
Sanic just takes it. Ooh, a great shot by Sanic. There's a lot of aerial shots going on right now. He just takes it. Gets They're it trying. Through. Go ahead. He just gets up there and takes the shot, no hesitation. They're just trying as many shots as they can. They know they're going to commit at some point and get the goal. It's all about just trying to commit. That's the thing with new players. If you're a newer player to the game, just try to hit the shots. You'll eventually get them. Sanic tries right on the wall, but no. Apollo gets a pass to him. Center. Center. Amazing pass. They may be down 5-2, that was an amazing pass. Ever since like the first couple of years of Rocket League, it's always been single man plays. But the last two years of Rocket League, both pro scene and IHSEA scene, it's been mainly passing. Apollo gets the hit. Fakes him out. Santa goes for the aerial, pops it down with a flick. Bones there to get it out. Oh, 50-50, gone straight up into anybody's ball. Ancient goes for the hit, saved by Sanic. Ty tries going for the aerial, but is not able to commit. Go for the dribble. Tries going for the demo. A very effective play, right up in the air. Anybody's bone, Ancient goes for it. Chair goes for the shot, too Chair. high. Oh, oh, he popped his own goal. What a great pass. Right off the wall, straight down to chair. Mango rides at the wall. Gets in the air. Passes straight down to chair to flick it right, to bump I'm it right in. Really impressed by the passing plays by Jones. Jones has always been really good with passing. They've been able to keep up uh, aggressive behaviors every all the time. I've noticed that they just try to keep up their the gate speed of the play as high as they can. And one of the things I've been talking to my players about is keep the game as hectic as possible because teams who do not communicate as well have a hard time keeping up. Absolutely. I have a, actually a bunch of notes for both teams. I know Plainfield Central, they've always had an, a very, very aggressive manner. As well as, but they do tend to sometimes have a little bit of slow rotation speed. They are, they're a well-coordinated team. They're able to commit to whatever, whatever they need to. But Jones takes it over the top. Well, looks like we're going to go on to game three with Jones holding a 2-0 lead in the series. You think they can close it here? You know what? My money is actually on uh, P uh, Plainfield Central right now. I feel like if they can commit to a lot of things, they can really get the, and get the ball downfield. Because a, a lot of the time, the ball is just off in the air and not really able to commit. And right Speaking there is that. a great shot. They keep up their aggression, try to match the speed play of Jones. They can probably take it in. Pass the play. demo is not gonna be. Oh, oh my God! Did they do it? Nice catch by Apollo. Type bonus shot. Go for the shot. Up in the air. Anybody's ball. God, the pace of play is so fast. We got end demo number seven, six. And Mango hits the nice aerial shot straight in. He seems to always be where he needs to be. I can only wish we could have uh, insight to what they're saying. It would be great to hear the communication between teams. And that might be a self goal right there. Kickoff goal right away. And a demo right at the end. The salty demo of the goal. Oh, I believe it's on Mango. Hold on, who's George Washington facing the ball? Let me go check. And that's enough. That might be another goal. Share, nice stop by him. Take up the field. And Apollo goes for a stop as well. More demos. AR Ancients not holding anything back. But, but Sanic is bumping Mango, bumping air out of any play he wants. Mango is actually having a little bit of trouble defending right now. He's missing a lot of shots right up in the air. Ty goes to the shot. 
Ooh. Oh, big oh, whip. Big one wall. This is a great game so far. Mango is have not really having like another shot that might be a shot in. Nope, too far. Hollow goes to the shot. Smoke too soon. What is going on? It's super fast. This The tide is turning, guys. Tomorrow, George Washington High School will be going against Mesa County, I believe. And a pinch. Oh, nice stop by Apollo. That oh. was a great save. Pinch right off the kickoff. I will miss. After match, I'll message coaches and see if I can't find a change. Alrighty. I do not think I can uh, cast tomorrow because I have to go file paperwork. For my new job. Good luck to you. I Panic. am going to be a... Nice stop. Ooh, and the bump. Oh, I actually think God, that bump they're was... They're hitting each other. I think that bump was actually technical. I've seen... Er... Uh, on purpose, because I've seen a lot of pro R uh, RLCS players doing that to get around the ball much faster. Get speed going. Because you technically Mango's can't demo your own teammates. Oh my God, Mango. Mango hits this a really, really sick angle from the right uh, right side. Hits on the left side wheel and straight in. Two two. It's a close game. Mango wins the kickoff. Could oh does not commit. Santa goes for the shot. Pinch straight up. Chair goes to commit, but it's not able to get it. Mango gets a hit right downfield. Apollo tries to go for the save. Chair gets the hit. Sanic goes up for the tap. In the air, anybody's ball. Bones hits it downfield. Save by Mango. Mango also goes up for the hit to pass it down. Nobody's there to commit, though, so it might be a single center. Nope. Chair pitches it off. Apollo hits it downfield. The pace of play has gotten faster and faster. Oh, oh, a little bit early on that. That's sad. I am waiting for the dunk plays this game. Someone's going to hit one. What, what is up with the chair? Is. Jeez, Apollo. Don't do him like that. AR Ancient flicks it over him. And Plainfield Central is now in the lead once again. This could be game. There might be game four. There's only a minute 59 minute. 59 seconds left in the game. I think he only had one game four in all the streams. That was the last week Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. Mango gets, oh, that's one person came in, so it's only two people in goal. Ooh, Paulo there to save it, get it downfield to mid. Tries to jewel it, but it hits on the back of his car. Chair hits the ball. Chair is having a lot of hard time with aerials today. Excuse me, this round, I mean. Chair nice hits the ball off the wall. Kind of a center for Apollo. Another oh, God. demo. Stop. Is anybody keeping count in the chat? We need to. I forgot. Me too. I got to like seven or eight, and then I lost count. Ancient hits the ball right off the ground. Static misses it. Could be anybody's ball right here. Ancient goes for the hit, misses it. Sanic is able to recover, get it downfield. Echo there to save the ball. Pinch, that might be a perfect pinch center. But no, Bones there to save it. Ancient this hits it downfield. Everywhere. This is the perfect center, but Sanic's able to hit it downfield. Right to the bottom, T Whip. tight. Oh, nice it's read by Apollo. Been a lot of fakes, a lot of aerial shots attempted by everybody. Ancient goes for the dribble. Fakes a little bit. Mango's there to save it. Great downfield. Could go for the aerial double tap. Ooh! Nice stop by Pinch Bones. Plainfield Central's defense has been extremely well, well thought out this entire game right here. 20 seconds left. This game is probably going to go Plainfield way. Chair hits the ball downfield. Or not. Oh. Mango's... Mango misses the shot. All they have to do is seven seconds. They gotta let it touch down and then they win it. They gotta burn time. Ooh. They may not burn time though. Okay. They got it. Unless Chair can pull off his magical air roll plays. And no, he doesn't. And 
That's a great game, taking us to game four. Three to two. It's time for a game four. Let's do this. We had a lot we had a lot of shots by Mango. Mango had seven Jeez. attempted shots. Only made two goals, two saves. The thing is he's putting them out there. He's really attempting to make his shots, but sometimes they're not able to commit. They get close, but then there's somebody there to defend it. What if they reverse sweep this? Ooh, going from a two, two to one, all the way down to Jones losing. And the best team win. Ooh, and an unlucky hit. Oh, I couldn't get the aerial. That was a great attempt by the aerial. Perfect timing to go up there, but somebody else was able to beat him up there. Santa goes for the air roll. Beats whoever was nice there. Nice flick. Oh, it's off target. Apollo's defense has been extremely well thought out. It's, it's really, really strong I right now. Like ancient reading that ground play as well. Mango tries going for the tap. Out of boost. Ancient there to save it, but there could be somebody there to save it. Nope. Ball is down. Chair gets a hit on the ball. Apollo's there to bump it out of the way. Mango's there for the read. Ooh, it could be a... S oh, wow. Sanic gets the perfect read in the air to be able to come in and get the goal. I did not see that one coming. It's early game. It's only been almost a minute, so I feel like there could be a turnaround. The Ooh, game's nowhere right near over. Ooh, Sandy gets a hit. What is going on? Ooh, the double fake. Couldn't quite get it, though. Jump ball. Mango went too early to try to commit. Chair, uh, H hits a downfield. Perfect. Right up and down. Right down in the blue field. Chair hits a downfield. Chair is actually starting to commit. Ooh, with the aerials. Go for a double tap, and that's ooh, a save by Apollo Echo. Go for the triple shot, Sanks there to save it. Ancient there to defend it, try to go for a small pinch off the wall or off the ground. Sank gets a perfect center up, saved by Echo again. Sanic gets the ball downfield, perfect center, no ways there to save it. So close every single time. Ancient, please. Oh, nice the bottom of his car. Oh, anybody's ball. And the demo. demo. Ancient's back to his ways. Nice read by Mango to get that. He has full boost. JCP has the pressure. Oh, the center. Echo's there to save it. Ancient's there. Puts it straight up. Could be anybody's ball right here. And Ancient gets the hit. Booms it downfield, goes for the tight bones, tries to go for the... Ah! That's a weird play. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Just getting the ball downfield as fast as possible to play. And they touch the ball there. Oh, and another touch. World's best commentating. Oh, and the ball is moving. <laughs> Amazing. Cross play. Amazing. Could get a center off this, but chairs are to oh. block it. Whiffed by Plainfield, gives chair an opportunity off the ceiling. Please, please. Oh, commit. oh my hey, God, Chair. That's a fantastic shot by Chair. Goes for the ceiling shot, commits, and gets the goal. Tries to go with something that Swooshy kind of did back in, I believe, season five. That was a phenomenal shot right there. I could never do this, no matter how hard I try. Pinch straight up in the air. Anybody's ball. Chair goes for the hit again. And another score by Mango. Phenomenal shot. Pass right off the double tap. Mango hits it with his Cristiano wheels. <laughs> Wait, those actual Cristianos? Oh, okay. dang. How do you know the wheel names? <laughs> I'm big into... I used to be really big into CSGO skin selling, so I know a lot of names of as well as Rocket League. Apollo a lot of bumping. I don't get anything out of it though. 
Stanek hits downfield. Tight Bones Mango hits it straight up. It could be anybody's ball. Sonic goes for the tries to pitch it off the wall to go straight down. Open net. Nobody's in goal to save it, but Apollo's there to save it actually. Pinch right off. Almost got the net. Nice top by GGIT Bones. Playfield Central's. Apollo. Playfield Central. Winfield Central is not having the best time with the defense right now. What's going on? That's going to help, though. Air Angel the demo. Or not. Oh. They rotated out what? too fast, and he came flying in. They had a three-man commit in one area right down the center. They rotated Mango's out way too fast. Mango's there to get right over them, bump it straight down. Make sure you have control of the ball first. And the kickoff's in favor of nobody, but Sanic's able to second hit it and get downfield for him. Nice pinch by Ancient to get it away, but he's out of boost. He can't really do much here. It's chairs, the ball downfield, but Chairs. In their zone. I feel like Chairs had the best goal this entire season so far. How far are I at He's in the stream. He looks at RLCS, didn't he? I get kind of confused. I like saying ROH, IHSEA. It has a good ring to it. And oh, Bones is there. Chair and Bones. Sanic working together. Nice read by Echo, though. Pinches it right back into the center. Oh, the little and touch. Bones tries to go for the save, as you'll see right here. That was a great attempt by Bones right there to try to save it, but there's nothing he could do there. Ooh, Ancient tries going for the demo after goal. Yeah, someone's gotta do it. And Type Bones is there to save it, but Apollo's there also to help save it. But it's like kind of a little bit far out center. Yeah, this point five zero, you can't make that up this fast. You can't add to it though. Ooh, ball straight down field, too high. Sanks there. Ooh, that might be a bad hit for Sanic. There's a chance. Up in the air. Apollo made a chance. Oh, and he and gets that's, it. That's a great shot. Last the second. Pride goal. I'll take that. I don't think Plainfield Central could score five goals in the air with zero seconds. Nope. That was still a solid play, though. GG's all around. And that makes it a 3-1 series win for Plainfield Central. Not Plain, that, that, we had bad words. 3-1 series win for Jones. So getting that entered, after I take a minute. Getting that entered, we're looking at... Uh, Okay, scores are updated. And as a reminder, we are taking the top eight for finals, or sorry, for playoffs for Varsity. JV, I don't think we're doing playoffs though. But Varsity, we're looking at number one, Guilford, number two, Schaumburg, number three, Jones, we just saw them win. Number four, Springfield, number five, Naperville Central V2. Number six, Carl Sandberg. Number seven, George Washington. Number eight, Naperville Central V1. And then hovering just outside of playoff contention is Steinmetz, who is awfully close. They're only down into ninth place instead of eighth due to their win percentage. So it's pretty close. Uh, across the yep. league today, we saw Plainfield Central on a bye for Varsity 2. Springfield beat Glenwood 3-0. Guilford beat Naperville uh, North of 3-0. Naperville Central beat George Washington 3-1. St. Bede had to forfeit against Oswego East. Schaumburg beat Carl Sandberg in a tight 3-2. Massac County got a forfeit against St. Bede, unfortunately, 3-0. Uh, Naperville Central beat Steinmetz 3-0. And Plainfield Central, we just watched against Jones College Prep. On the JV side of things, uh, Glenwood had to forfeit, unfortunately, due to some scheduling issues on our end. Uh, Naperville Central's on a bye. Plainfield Central's on a bye because JV schedule's kind of messed up. 
Uh, and then Jones had to forfeit to Springfield. And Naperville North forfeited to Sandoval. So, actually, no no actual matches were played on JV today, unfortunately. Wow. I feel like today we saw two great teams go head-to-head. -head. They had great kickoffs. They had great teamwork to get balls downfield for them. Plainfield Central, they were not too strong in the first two games with their defense, and that's what really screwed them for the first couple of games. But as soon as they were able to coordinate and get their defense on point, they were able to commit, get the ball downfield, and stay as aggressive as possible. And whenever the ball did get downfield, they were able to commit there and score with a 3-2 to two game. Yeah, it went really well. Um, okay, so some people were asking in chat about how playoffs are going to work. What's going to happen is I'm going to take the top eight, seed them in a bracket, the usual one plays eight, two plays seven, and so on. And from there, we are then going to do one day of play-ins. And the top four after, well, people who win those four matches go to a one-day finals tournament held at Glenwood High School. Information is released to those teams once they make it. But it'll be a one-day thing on December 14th, which is a Saturday. I'm looking at around 10 a.m. or so is my start time, although that's up for debate because it's not a big deal otherwise. And other than that, that should be it. Also, playoffs will be best of sevens to really stretch this out. As for a stream match tomorrow, I got some ideas. However, I got to message teams first and ask them before I make any confirmations. Oh, no, you have to drive three hours unlike I had to drive three hours to go to state finals last year for Overwatch. Oh, no, three hours. You'll be fine. It's three hours of corn. That is true. I used to do I used to be in Boy Scouts. and I used to have to do that trip every single day or every single month, actually. Yeah, getting down here is just three hours of corn. It's not a bad drive. It's just drive on 55 for three hours and you're here. So it won't be a big deal. And luckily, we got some rooms to do this stuff in. I'm still working on some details of the event. But for now, uh, I think that's about it. I want to say we're also doing our IHSEA podcast tonight at, well, 8.15 or so. So give it about 30 minutes when Mr. Todd McFarlane and Amy Whitlock, two of the other admins, are getting online to talk with me about uh, various things in the league. So until then, uh, I will catch you guys later. Anything else to add, Alex? Um, no, I feel like today was a great game, great commitment by both teams, and can't wait to see who makes the playoffs and win the final championship today uh, in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Okay, catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully, where I'll have a stream match. I really hope so. Later, guys.